Okay, so what we've got here is the I2 radiation, real-time radiation dosimetry system, which you can just see over here. And we've got four badges which are connected to the system via Bluetooth, and these will give a real-time readout of radiation, actually as you're screening and performing procedures. So I've connected one of the badges onto this pole, and I'm going to be positioning this in various places around the image intensifier. And we've got another badge here, which is in a fixed position. And I'd just like to show you what happens to the dose depending on where you're standing. So we've got this fluoro system set at 7.5 pulses per second. And we're just going to start with the badge up here at about sort of head and neck height. And we're going to screen. And you can see that the dose there will vary depending on the position on the scale in a green band, and then it'll go orange, and then it'll go red when your dose gets very high. So up here at the moment, in 7.5 frames a second, the dose is not too bad. Now we're going to lower this badge down and get it a little bit nearer to the phantom we've got set up here. And now we're starting to get more scatter. You see the dose goes up into the orange. I'm going to move it down to about waist height and down a little bit further towards where your legs will be. And you can see the dose here is still quite significant. But of course there are various things we can do to reduce this dose, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Now that's just screening, that's fluoroscopy. Now if we do an actual digital subtracted run, um, and taking this at four frames a second, you just watch what happens to the dose here. I'm just going to stand behind the screen. And we're right up into the red, both for the meter I'm holding here and also for the meter that's over here, which is a little bit further away. Now the other thing you'll notice, if I'm screening here and I'm standing right next to where the patient would be, the dose will be up in the orange. Now, of course, we all know the inverse square law. As I move my badge further away, and I'm standing further away, you can see the dose drops right down. So it's very important that any staff are in the room with you, and yourself if possible, do stand as far away as possible. Okay, we're just going to repeat that now, bringing some of these lead screens in. So a very important one, and it's one I always use, is a lead screen in front of your legs. And you can see when we're screening now, and we're going to hold the dose meter here, near the patient, we're going to bring it down, and of course, not surprisingly, when we get down behind the lead, that dose is virtually zero. Now that lead screen can be improved even further by adding some additional lead protection a little bit higher up, which will protect you even more from the scatter coming back from the patient. And again, that's going to give you a significant dose here, but when we're coming down, it's going to be virtually zero. Now, the other thing we also use is some protection in front of your head. Of course, you can wear lead lined glasses, but that's not going to be sufficient. So, we're bringing this screen, which, although these are a little bit cumbersome, it will actually give you a window to work through. And here, using this sort of system, you can see you're completely protected or almost completely protected from the radiation. So here, through this little window, you're still going to get a dose, although it's not very high. And as we bring it down here, it'll be zero, and up to here, that dose will be zero. Now, if we just do a digital subtracted run again, and let's just look at the difference that makes. So here, we're certainly up into the red, and behind the screen, it's gone right down into the green, and behind this screen, It's dropped right down into the green again. Now the other things we can do to decrease our radiation dose, of course, coning in. And we're just going to be screening and having the badge at about waist to chest height again. Now as I reduce the area of radiation, you can see that dose is going to dramatically drop right down into the green again. The other thing we can do is we can decrease our pulses per second so the fluoroscopy can be slowed down. And if we go from 7.5 pulses per second down to 4 pulses a second, of course, that's also going to significantly reduce your dose further.